Praise be Jesus and Mary. In the narrative of the calling of Samuel, we see how our Lord calls until he finds in Samuel the proper dispositions, the proper receptiveness to receive the grace of being a prophet for the Lord. And it's this proper disposition that I'd like to uh, focus on briefly today because sometimes we enter into prayer without it. Sometimes we enter into prayer, into our dialogue, into our conversation with the Lord with an attitude, with an erroneous attitude, thinking that we have to convince our Lord, we have to make him want to do something, we have to make him want to grant us something, to give us something. Whereas the exact opposite is true. When, when we enter into prayer, we are already responding to a calling from the Lord who wants to make us, who wants to create in us that desire to receive that which he has already made up his mind to give us. It's our Lord in prayer who makes us, seeks to make us want something. And to receive, our, to receive what, what our Lord has for us, we must have the proper dispositions, and dispositions in proportion to the gift, the grace that our Lord has prepared for us. Our Lord gives certain graces only after insistent prayers. Once we show ourselves sufficiently appreciative of the gift that we ask for, once we, once we show ourselves sufficiently, sufficiently desirous of, of the gift that we ask for, only these two can, in a certain way, be, be said to compel God to move his heart. When he sees in us, when he sees that we allow him to create in us those dispositions of appreciation, of deep desire, burning desire for his gifts. And, and for that reason, tying this in to Our Lady of, of the Rosary, whose um, votive mass we celebrate, for this reason, our Lord gives certain graces only through his blessed mother, because only she is able to give us the proper dispositions necessary for certain graces, especially those of a greater magnitude especially the ones that are most life-changing. In fact, just one quote, Pius XII, speaking of the repetition, the, the, the repetitive nature of the rosary, explains it as a, actually a powerful feature of this prayer. He says, the recitation of identical formulas repeated so many times, rather than rendering the prayer sterile and boring, has on the contrary the admirable quality of infusing confidence in him who prays and brings to bear a gentle compulsion on the motherly heart of Mary. The power of, of the rosary gives us confidence that we will receive what we pray for. And it bears a gentle compulsion on the heart of Mary. It shows to her that we are desirous. It moves her heart to give because we show ourselves desirous to receive such is the power of the Holy Rosary, which disposes us for God's graces, especially the biggest ones, the most transformative ones. So let us make sure to pray this rosary, and especially with this right attitude of receptiveness to what it is that our Blessed Mother wants to obtain from us, for us rather, from the Lord. Let us ask her to surprise us and to exceed our expectations, and she surely will, and will show to us the power of, of this prayer, the power of her intercession and the goodness of God, her Son. Praised be Jesus and Mary.